In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16, the Bible says, All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and are profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Verse 17 adds that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Friends, I want to focus your attention this morning on that word inspiration, but I want to do it in quite a different way. You know, as we look at verse 16 and we understand the Greek language there behind that English word for inspiration, we ought to understand that literally means these things are given by the very breath of God. It's not that God necessarily breathed life into the Bible, that is, men wrote the words and God gave it life. It is that God actually breathed the words that are laid upon the pages by those men so that we may in turn have life. Now, with that said, let me ask you this. Have you ever been an inspiration to anyone else? Or maybe perhaps it's better to ask, have you ever been inspired by someone else? You know, typically when we think about that, we're probably referring to the fact that they have motivated us in some way, that through their dealing with their troubles and trials in life, perhaps, that their way of dealing with that has motivated us to become better people. And there's certainly nothing wrong with considering it that way. But I want to ask you this now. Are you an inspiration to others in the way that God was? And that is through your very breath. I mean by that through the words that you speak, through the encouraging words that you offer. I pray that you are. I hope that as you go throughout your day today, that you'll spend time looking for individuals, looking for poor souls out there that need your encouragement, that need to be lifted up, and that you'll inspire them in the very way that God has inspired us through his word. This has been your Daily Dose, and I pray that you'll be encouraged.